What do these artists all have in common? Elvis, The Beatles, Dolly Parton, Kiss, 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 The Who, Elton John, Ted Nugent, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, ACDC, Rob Zombie, and Alice Cooper, none of them have their own Sega Genesis pinball game. Growing up through the 80s, Motley Crue was probably my favorite band. They embodied everything I thought I wanted out of the music industry. I wanted to be them. I wanted to be on stage with throngs of women throwing panties at me and being Tommy Lee or Vince Neil or Mick Mars or Nikki Six. I didn't care which one I was. I just wanted to be in Motley Crue. They looked like they had more fun than anybody else on the planet, and I wanted in on that. Crewball is a 1992 pinball video game developed by Electronic Arts for the Mega Drive Sega Genesis. It features three of Motley Crue's best songs, Dr. Feelgood, Live Wire, and Home Sweet Home. So it seems like this was just a cash in for Motley Crue to get some more stuff licensed out there with their name on it. It works for me though, these three songs of theirs turn into some of the coolest 16-bit tracks you'll ever hear. This game was designed by two people who previously worked on pinball games, Mark Springer, artist for such games as Space Shuttle, High Speed, and Diner, and Brian L. Schmidt, the composer for Space Station and Black Knight 2000 and various pinball games designed by Data East and Sega. The three real crew tunes are why we are here. The game has 11 tracks by Brian Schmidt, and they are fine and would probably stand out on their own if they didn't have to compete with Nikki, Vince, Mick, and Tommy. 